Windows 11, just like Windows 10, gives you the ability to connect through a proxy server. But you do need to set this up many times. So I'm going to click on the Start button, go to Settings. And on the left-hand side, I'm going to click on Network and Internet. Now, about the third one down here, we see Proxy. Click on Proxy. And then we have some options. So we have the option to automatically detect settings, but I've never really seen this work very well in Windows 10. I don't expect it to work great in Windows 11. We have the option to use a setup script. Again, I don't know a lot of people who use that uh, type of a script, but it certainly is possible. So if we use a setup script, and then you just go ahead and point it to the script address, then you should be good to go. I'm going to show you the manual way of doing things because this is the way I see most people do it. And that is I'm going to click on Setup under Use a Proxy Server. And now we have to turn it on. And then we have to put in the proxy IP address. So if you're using a proxy server, whether it's a public proxy server you're paying a fee for, or it's one that's on the inside of your network, either one of those, then you can go ahead and put it in here. And then you can also use the port. Maybe it's port 81, maybe it's port 444, 443, or whatever it is. Um, then you can go ahead and put in that information. So wherever it is you get your proxy from, it'll tell you uh, what port it's going to be. Maybe it's port 80. And a couple of the settings that I like to, to use, uh, the first one is use proxy server everywhere except for addresses that start with the following entries. So if you say, uh, it will just say blah.com, and then we're going to put in a semicolon. And then we'll say 123.com, something like that. So it's not going to use a proxy for those because it's possible that uh, it's just not needed. Now, you can also check the box that says don't use the proxy server for local addresses. So if you have a website in the same subnet that you're in, like 192.168.1.100 and you're 1.2, uh, then you don't want to proxy that because then it'll never get there. So you'll want to check the box that say don't use the proxy for local addresses if that's... Uh, the case and most likely it would be. So if you're using a third party proxy, they'll give you a list of IP addresses that you can use. And then when you go out on your web server or your web browser, I should say, and you uh, browse the internet, it's going to look as though it's coming from this public IP address that you put in here. If you are doing this with a private IP address, a private proxy that's on the inside of your local area network, because you say you're a company or an organization, then you'll probably be putting in a, a private IP address instead of a public one such as 192.168, you know, dot, uh, 1.100, something like that. And then whatever port it is that, that you'll be using at that point. Now, you can also set this up through group policy as well. So that way, when the user logs in, it'll automatically set this proxy IP address. And the nice thing about that is they, the user won't be able to make changes to that. So uh, if you decide to use a proxy IP address to monitor web traffic for an organization, uh, then that is a good way to do it. But if you're just doing it on your own to hide or mask your own IP address for your own personal web browsing, then this is the place that you would enter that public IP information. So that is how you set up a proxy server in your Windows 11 computer.